Yeah, this mockup was posted on the KD Reddit and actually the author asked me whether I thought it was feasible and my answer is actually mostly yeah. So how do you make uh, this become this? Uh, well, it's thanks to how powerful plasma themes are. However, however, there will be some kind of catches and I'm sure that if I try to implement this, well, it won't be 100% perfect, but I think it get, can get close. So let's talk about plasma theming. So the cool thing about plasma theming is that it's actually rather easy. It's only through SVGs, meaning that anybody who can use like Inkscape can get into plasma theming. Now, how this works is that every element that you see here has its own SVG that you can go and modify. So let's actually break down the design elements from this mockup and see what's possible to implement and what's not. The first thing we can notice is that this panel, this, uh, sorry, applet here is a floating. And by the way, I'm talking about this without changing any code, just from a, a plasma theming point of view without like doing a new applet, just this one. So as I was saying, this applet is floating. Currently, this is not supported, maybe Latidoc, but I don't know. But by the Plasma panels, this is not supported. I actually do have a merge request to implement this. So hopefully soon that will be uh, feasible. But right now, this has to be attached to this. But OK, that's a smaller detail. What about everything else? So we've got in here this bar at the top which is just a bar at the top. And if we compare it here, we do actually also get this bar at the top, but this one actually extends to borders and is gray. So uh, it would be fair to ask, can we actually make this look like this? And the answer should be yes. You just have to actually inject some artificial margins inside of the SVG by making some elements that are actually bigger than they actually look like. So they will have some margins all around, but it should be feasible. And if it is not, then I think it's fair to request for the plasmoid headings margins to be customizable from the plasma theme. So you just have to send me a message and I can actually implement this. So this is feasible. Then we have icon plus name, which is already implemented, so that's fine. We have the search bar, which is here. Now, the search bar uh, looks very different. First of all, it is centered, and as cool as plasma, plasma themes are, we cannot change the position of elements, so this has to stay on the right part of it, but the actual look of the search bar should, in theory, be customizable through plasma theme, uh, through plasma themes, unless unless this is actually a Kurigami line edit uh, component, which it could be because I don't know everything by heart. If it is, then it's not customizable. But you just have to go to the FSVGs and check whether we do have an SVG for inserting input over here. Uh, if I recall correctly, there should be one. So no, maybe, maybe there isn't. Let's try to, if it's customizable, customizable by the plasma theme, then this is surely feasible here too. And it should be, I think. Otherwise, no. This buttons looks basically the same and uh, yeah. On the left, we notice that application and places switches from the bottom to the top. And again, we cannot do that. However, the look of the buttons is something that can be customized, so that should be feasible. And however, we do see that this part here and this part here are uh, basically floating as cards and that's not really feasible though. So you would have to get rid of this background and this background. However, you can keep the border at the bottom. So this is what is my opinion on the feasibility of this mockup. We also have, and this is rather interesting, a project to 
how to generate a color scheme depending on the wallpaper. And there are actually at least a couple of projects that attempt to do this and they, they do this <laughs> perfectly well. And they actually look so cool that I sent a message to another KDE Plasma developer, uh, which was like, um, can we actually do that too? And uh, they were like, yeah. And they actually implemented this within 10 minutes. So I was actually rather impressed. So this feature is actually coming to KDE Plasma 5.25. So if you like this, you're going to get it. Then there is a new clock widget for KDE which is a rather cool news. So this is the clock widget. We can give it a look. It looks gorgeous. And it is on the KD store, which means that everybody can just download it out of the box just by going in to get new stuff inside of the add widgets dialog. And the good thing is that it should be easy enough for people to actually go through the code, which is inside of content, contents UI main.qml in here. And it's like 100 lines in the main file and try to understand how it is done. So if you're learning how to do applets and you want to do something simple, this is a good uh, place to start because it's not something too complex. It's uh, managing the right position of all of the text uh, mostly, but it looks really good, so you can achieve something that looks good without too much complexity under the hood. And finally, I want to talk about the corners bug, uh, which you probably know has been fixed. However, since then I actually looked into the bug a bit more to explain you how it was fixed. And I actually never did a video about that mostly because I think that there is some misunderstanding on what the corners bug is. Because people think that Kitty lacks the feature of having like a correct blur in corners, which was fair and we actually fixed it uh, recently thanks to the efforts of the Latte Doc developer. So I was like, okay, that's going to be it, right? Nobody's going to complain anymore, but I think think that people were actually breaking their own setup and blaming KDE without KDE realizing that this was happening. As an example, if you use the force blur uh, plugin, that could be the cause of the issues. And I do see people using force blur much more than they should, to, they should in general. So if you're using force blur, then that might be an issue and not with KDE, with the first blur plugin. So that could be an issue. And I've also seen that there's very few, like really few plugins that actually used blur behind their decorations. And mostly it was not about giving their, um, them the ability to round the blur. It was just mostly about giving them the ability not to have blur at all. So that was weird. So there is a fix. I I'm just confused by the fact that maybe the actual bug is much less important than we thought and people are blaming Kitty for the damage they did to themselves without realizing. I don't know. I, I, I totally need to investigate a bit more because I'm so confused about this.